It's uh, Chris over Dixieland Farm, and uh, look, I'm wearing my readers because I was doing some soldering. Why was I doing soldering? Well, the uh, Behringer UM2 is a very good mic preamp and uh, line input to USB converter for the money, which is like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. But look, it's plastic. And uh, what was happening was I was getting a slight hum when plugged into the USB hub that I needed to use so I could plug this into my iPad. This drew too much power. The iPad complained, so I had to put a USB hub in. Uh, whether the hub or not was connected though, you know, when this thing was maxed, you could hear a slight hum. So what's happening is there's, you know, power going in the USB. There's, uh, it's, since it's not shielded, it's picking up some, you know, interference, radio interference things like that, uh, probably a little bit of voltage was being induced in the line. I tried changing the USB plug out, that didn't help. But if I touched the back, the hum would go away because I was dissipating that micro, uh, the micro volts that were going on. However, when you're using a mic preamp, you're dealing with micro volts. So, um, you know, when the gain is that high, you hear it. If it's on line input, you don't because the noise is suppressed so low, you just don't hear it. But mic, microphone, levels much harder uh, so this is sort of like a turntable too a turntable is nothing but a microphone on a stick so when you increase the gain without a, a ground wire you pick up noise so you need a way to dissipate that to ground one way to do that is touching it and that's not practical but another way is to actually ta attach the signal ground right here which is often the common ground to actual ground so that is what I've done. I've, uh, since I'm not using that back port anyway, I've just uh, soldered up a connection to the sleeve here so I could plug it in. And on the other end, I've literally just attached the cable to ground. And uh, this works. It's not the best fix, uh, but it's practical enough. And that eliminates me having to buy a more robust, uh, better built preamp. You know, I, I, I'm not a professional musician. I'm not even a uh, part-time musician. I, uh, you know, I do this uh, as a goof uh, for the most part. So the solution will work for me. So ground to the sleeve. Um, this does not work in all situations. I also am not saying you should do this uh, legal, legal disclaimer. I'm just saying this is what I've done. And I know that works for me in my setup, and every setup is different. And sometimes, uh, you know, these are due to ground loops, and there are too many grounds, and it is a whole, it's, it gets complicated. But this will solve my problem, and I can go back to using the UM2 perfectly. Everybody, I know that's kind of geeky talk, but thank you so much for watching. Take care.